Transit Police Ronald Pavlik. Half dozen or more injuries, one of them critical. That's after smoke for the Lafayette Metro Station. Metro's GM Richard Sarles has just arrived on the scene along with the spokesman. Let's listen in live to what they have to say. Good evening. Uh, approximately 3.20 uh, this afternoon, there was a heavy smoke condition at Lafayette Plaza Station. The station was evacuated. There was also a yellow line train just uh, south of the station headed towards Virginia, which was stopped. Um, on that train, uh, the PC Fire Department re responded to evacuate folks from this train. Uh, we have one fatality from that uh, woman that was in distress on the train, which I'm very uh, sorry to report. And my heart goes out to her family. Uh, we have not yet identified her yet, uh, but we will, and we will notify the next of kin as soon as possible. In addition to that, there were two people in critical condition who were taken to the hospital. Approximately, uh, and that was the George Washington University Hospital. Approximately um, was, uh, about 40 people taken on a bus to Howard University Hospital and another 20, 25 people taken to Washington Hospital Center. Uh, the cause of the uh, smoke, heavy smoke condition, is under investigation. I do not know at this point, we do not know at this point the uh, cause of that smoke. Uh, the investigation will be led by the Metropolitan Police Department since there was a fatality involved here. Um, and it will be, uh, we are running service on the other lines and we can give you details on that in a moment. And I'll be glad to answer any questions if I can. People who were getting off the train said that they were on the train. Everybody was consistent about this. But they were on the train for upwards of an hour in the smoke before the door, before they were taken off the train. The, why was that? Well, the D.C. Fire Department uh, was excellent in responding to this incident and uh, getting people to the train. The exact timing of everything will obviously come out in the uh, investigation. But I will I gotta commend the D.C. Fire Department and the emergency services for the response they had to this situation. There's no explanation at the moment about why the people were on the train for that long? This will all come out in the investigation as to uh, what occurred. Is it true that fire had uh, problems with the radios at the time when they came out to respond? Were they not communicating because they were having trouble with their radios? Uh, any details with regard to this will again come out in the investigation. I can't answer those questions at the moment. When did you learn about the fatality and what, what do you understand the circumstances of that, where that person was sitting on the train or anything like that? The person had been on the train, was in distress, uh, was evacuated from the train uh, by emergency services and uh, was uh, subsequently uh, declared, you know how pronounced long dead. It was between the time that the uh, incident began and the time this fatality Again, those evacuated. details will come out in the investigation. How many trains were affected and how many people? I can't give you the number of people on the train yet. That will come out in the investigation. There was one train that was in the tunnel. Obviously, many trains were affected in terms of having to turn around and reroute uh, service. When these people were evacuated off the train, how, where was the train when it stopped? And how far did the train was roughly 150 feet uh, south of the uh, Lafont Plaza station, and they had to walk back, and they were assisted by the fire department and the Metro Transit Police. Is there a protocol for this sort of situation and was it followed in this situation in terms of your employees, the train operators and the, and the station managers? Yeah, that will all come out in the investigation. But is there a protocol? There yes, a there are protocols to be followed in terms of what we have to go through and again, how that was followed and everything else will be in the investigation. Mr. Charles, on a personal note, this has affected a lot of people, obviously the family of the person who passed and those in critical, but I mean, it's changed a lot of people's nights in a very drastic way. Can you speak to that? Well, we are obviously very sorry about uh, the delays caused the people, and especially the people on the train that had to go through the circumstances of being evacuated from that train. I know that's stressful. And needless to say, you know, for the people that are injured and, and for the family of the one woman, I mean, it's just uh, heartbreaking. Why the federal response? We saw FBI, Department of Homeland Security out here. Can you speak to that? This is a standard response. We're, we're in Washington. We uh, have all the law enforcement agencies obviously interested in what goes on, but that's just part of the investigation. So part of the preliminary investigation, anything to suggest that it was other than something happening inside the tunnel with the train, nothing? I have no knowledge.